So very recently we did a timing belt, water pump, thermostat, all the bearings replacement on a 2010 Impreza with 106,000 miles. But I thought it would be pretty cool just to show what these parts look like after seven years and 106,000 miles. So let me come in for a close up. We'll go over the timing belt, the bearings, the water pump, all that good stuff and see have they really lasted very well under these circumstances. Now Subaru recommends for that vehicle to replace the belt every 105,000 miles. So it was 1,000 miles over the limit, but how well did everything hold up? Let's find out. So this is the original belt that the vehicle came with. You can still sort of see the Subaru logo made in Japan. And overall, this belt has held up very well. There's really two points where this webbing is starting to come apart. But as you can see, it's held up very, very well. Here's one point, just a little bit right here. And these belts are expensive if you compare them to other manufacturers, meaning when I say expensive, $70. To me, that's not expensive for a belt, to be quite honest, because it's just such an important job that it needs to do. And uh, it's one of those things you don't want to go cheap on. You know, there are other manufacturers. You can find these for half the cost. I wouldn't mess around with that. You know, be safe. Go with the Subaru unit. And here's the other one. Right here. Now, Gates does make a kit. It's actually very well priced, that kit. And I'll talk more about that in a moment. But as you can see, just those two points is really where it's starting to come apart. So pretty, still pretty darn good. Let's take a look at the, uh, at the bearings. That's where you see a couple things. Let me grab them. So now let's talk about the bearings. Again, you don't want to go cheap on bearings and I'll show you why it's important to replace the uh, bearings when you do the timing belt. Now one thing to note, if you're thinking about doing this job, if you buy these bearings from Subaru, they will be twice as much as opposed to you buying directly from the manufacturer. In other words, if you go on Amazon, for example, and you look up the part number for your vehicle and you purchase an NSK bearing, it will be half as much as if you purchase it from Subaru. And Subaru, this is what they use. Uh, at least I could tell you for sure on a lot of older cars. The newer ones, I couldn't tell you. If, uh, if they're Subaru listed on the bearing. But on these older cars, again, this is a 2010 Koyo. So you don't see Subaru on the bearing, it's Koyo. But again, if you buy this from Subaru, it's going to be twice as much, okay? So save a little bit of money there in that sense. Now, the other reason why you want to replace these is these can start to wear out. There's no free play here on this bearing. But you can hear it's starting to it's starting to wear down. When a bearing is brand new, it's butter smooth. You won't hear anything. So that's why it's important also to replace the bearings. Okay, so that's one. Again, let me show you this one. And as you can see, Japan NSK. Okay, so just buy it directly from the manufacturer, save some money that way. Now this has a little bit of free play, but you can hear it doesn't roll nearly as long. And I can even feel it. It's really starting to, it's done. This bearing is done. So this is why, this is why you want to replace the bearings when you replace the timing belt. Let me show you this last one here. This one is still in good shape and you'll see the difference or you'll hear the difference. See how butter smooth that is? It's just, this one's still in good shape. Again, NSK. Japan. Now let's talk about the hydraulic tensioner. Again, this still looks to be in very good shape. What happens with, this is the one that we, we removed. Sometimes you'll find some oil buildup over here on the tensioner. These are expensive. A lot of times um, certain shops and owners, they just, if everything looks to be in good shape, they won't replace this because this is $110 just for the hydraulic tensioner. And we did it. We replaced it anyway. I'm just one of those types of people that I'd rather be safe than sorry. And it's still okay. It's still, it's not horrible. It still seems to be in good shape. Now the one thing to note about these tensioners, because you can find them for like 40 bucks, is you want to see Japan. Again, very, very important. And there's, uh, I forget the name of the channel, 
It's a very good video. I'll, I'll find it and include a link in the description box. But essentially, this guy does is he goes over the Gates kit. For years, the Gates kit was a, a great value because everything was either U.S. or Japan parts. Now they're China. And when you find these tensioners, you won't find any country of origin listed here. Against your vehicle, if you want to pay 40, 50 bucks, knock yourself out, I wouldn't do it personally. But that's one thing also to note. Whenever you see Japan, good chance that it's directly from Subaru and uh, it's a quality part. Now, one thing, as you can see, this still looks to be in good shape. If anyone wants this, you're welcome to take it. And I, uh, this, I'm not trying to do uh, you know, any trickery whatsoever. I'd rather give this away to someone than throw it in the garbage uh, because I'm, I don't need it. I just don't need it anymore. So if, if you want this and you want to pay for the shipping, uh, send me an email to Cars and Toys Help. I'll include that in the, in the description box at Gmail. Give me your address and or wherever you want me to ship it to. And I'll calculate the shipping for priority mail. I'll ship this out priority so at least I can track it and make sure that uh, it's delivered. And you're welcome to take it. I'll probably keep these parts for maybe a month. I mean, the belt I'm going to chuck, the bearings I'm going to get rid of. But if anyone wants that tensioner, you're welcome to have it. Uh, oh, here's the part number, by the way. And this is the original water pump. The gasket still seems to be in good shape. These are really good gaskets, by the way. It's not that it's not paper. It seems like a copper gasket, but still in good shape. Let me show you the water pump. The water pump, I think I'm going to keep just in case around. Again, I replaced it in this case with N NPW Nissan pump. N NPW makes a lot of water pumps for a lot of different manufacturers. As you can see, Subaru water pumps are known to last a very, very long time. Again, it's one of those things I just, since I'm doing the job at the time belt, I might as well replace the water pump. That's the way I feel about it. But everything feels great on the bearing. There's no noise. To be quite honest, I could have just kept this in there. But again, I'd rather be safe than sorry. But this is still in very, very good shape. And this is the factory. Let me get this out. Factory thermostat. Still seems to be in good shape. So this I'm going to keep just in case, just in case I'm going to keep this. So this seems to be in good shape. So ultimately, the point of this video is the reason why you want to change the timing belt is because the timing belt is starting to fray up and these bearings, two out of three, really had to be replaced. So that's why it's a good idea to certainly follow what Subaru recommends for your vehicle. On the older Subarus, you gotta change them more often. It could be 85,000, it could be 65,000. You gotta check the owner's manual. And uh, yeah, so that's really about it. So thank you for watching. Again, if anyone wants this, feel free to send me, again, carsandtoyshelp at gmail.com. I'll just throw a label on there and send it out to you. And uh, that being said, any questions, just leave it in the description box below, and we'll see you next time.